The following question is about moles and number of particles and it's a tricky question. It involves polymerization. So uh, the question reads that the monomer undergoes addition polymerization and a one mole sample of the monomer is completely polymerized and he's asking how many moles of polymer might theoretically be formed. So I'm going to first explain what polymerization is. Uh, polymerization is when many small molecules they simply add up and they form a very large macromolecule. So let's say let's say I have five monomers, five single units, five small molecules and so I have five monomers and under certain conditions they all react together and they add up and they start linking with each other. So if they start linking with each other, how many poly polymers are formed? Uh, five monomers join together and they form exactly one polymer. What could also happen is that instead not all the five monomers join together. What could happen is that two join together and three join together. So they join in groups. Three of the monomers join together and two of the monomers join together. Now, how many polymers do I have? These three combine in the form one molecule. These two combine in the form another molecule. Now I have a five mon monomers join together, but they don't join together with each other. So you could also have two polymers. But whatever happens, one thing that you need to uh, look at is that if you have five monomers, you can't get five polymers. The number of polymers would always be less than five because when they join together, the number of molecules are going to decrease. For example, if these three join together, that they're going to combine and they're going to form one molecule. So if you have five monomers, you're starting with five monomers, the number of polymers are always going to be less than five. Now, what if you didn't have five monomers, instead you had uh, lots of monomers and to be exact the question states what if you had one mole of monomers one mole of monomers is basically equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 monomers so if you have these many monomers and what if they all joined together if they all started linking with each other if they all started joining you would get a very large moly macro molecule and there's going to be exactly one macro molecule so if you have these many particles and if they all join together you're going to get exactly one polymer or you could also it could also happen is what could also happen is that half of them join together and the rest of the half they join together so then they are going to form two polymers so they can form two polymers but whatever happens the number of polymers is always going to be less than the monomers because the monomers are joining together so the number of polymers that you're forming are going to be less than the amount of monomers that you have so if you have one mole of if you have one mole of polymer of monomers then the amount of polymers that would be formed uh, would always be less than one mole so amount of polymers formed would always be less than one mole so coming back to the question uh, if you've understood this point coming back to the question so if you have one if you have exactly one mole sample of monomers then the amount of polymers formed would always be less than one mole. It's always going to be less than one mole. Hence, option number one is the incorrect option. It can't be correct because you can't form one mole of polymers from one mole of monomers. Uh, so any answer less than one mole is going to be the correct answer. So two and three are correct. And according to the marking scheme, it's going to be option C.